What's up guys, Lane Rogers here with ZNR Realty, back with another quick tip for real estate agents. Today, I wanna to talk with you a little bit about the importance of a morning routine. But first, let me grab some coffee. So what happens when you don't have a solid morning routine? Well, you wake up too early to do anything meaningful before you have to be somewhere or any appointments that you have to go on. You don't have time to do any exercise or practice and go over your work for the day. You haven't primed your mind for success, you haven't primed your body for energy, and you're probably not nearly as prepared as you could be. You haven't had time to go over your grateful list and really look at what you're grateful for in life, and you haven't had time to really go over your goals, and you really haven't had time to look at your why in life, you know, why you get out of bed in the first place, why you do the things you do, why you work so hard. And so, what does this all add up to? When these things aren't top of mind, it all adds up to you not going out to your day with the same energy, the same vigor, the same drive as you would if you, if you had gotten up earlier and really focused on your morning routine and had all of those things top of mind as you go throughout your day. You see, it's this focus that allows you to slay your day, to own the day. And let's face it, when you own the day, you know, you've gotten up early, you've looked over your goals, you've thought about your why, you, you know, kind of planned out everything you want to do for the day, you know what's going on, you're prepared, you're, you know, you're gonna go after it with a totally different energy, a totally different vigor, and when you do all this, it really does lead to a better quality of life and just a really higher sense of purpose. So yeah, usually for me, I get up around 5.30, 5.45, and you know, I get up, brush my teeth, do all that stuff, and then I head into the kitchen, make some coffee, uh, you know, I'll review any emails that have come in, those kinds of things, and uh, obviously check social media real quick, have a couple glasses of water, do some stretches, and then usually I head upstairs to our office dash studio, kind of where I am now, and you know, I'll get a little work done, I'll read a little bit sometimes, sometimes I'll listen to a YouTube video, something motivational, something that inspires me, or you know, something that kind of has to do with what I'm working on that particular day and uh, just kind of get my mind right, let my, you know, allow myself to wake up, drink a couple of cups of coffee, I'll review my grateful list, and then you know, sometimes I'll add things to it, sometimes I'll just review it, and then I have a whole notebook full of goals. You know, I have short term, you know, kind of the medium term, and then I have long term goals. I review those almost every day. And that way I know what my whys are in life, and that way I can stay focused, and that way you know, I have an optimistic viewpoint towards the day, and I'm gonna go after it, and, you know, I'm really gonna go after it with a lot more energy, a lot more vigor, and uh, it allows me to just really, really, really kind of focus on what the important things are that day. And then obviously I go over my list of just each thing I need to get done uh, that day, and you know, then I kind of assign uh, an order of importance, you know, I'll rate them, and then, you know, Obviously, I try to do the things that require the most brain energy, you know, first thing in the morning, just because if I put those things off till later in the day, then a lot of times, you know, it's just not gonna happen, or if it does happen, I'm not going after it with the same brain power as I, I could have been if I had just gotten done early. So, things I don't wanna do, I do as early as possible. That way I know they're done and not hanging over my head all day. So, you know, obviously prospecting, uh, working out, I have to get that stuff done early. A lot of times I like to get that stuff done, you know, before 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, if I can. And that way it clears my schedule for the rest of the day to meet with real estate agents, meet with clients, uh, and work in the other businesses that we have. And so that sort of is a schedule that works for me. And so uh, I wanna know, let, let me know, uh, you know, post in the comments. I'd love to know if you have a morning routine, first of all. And if you do, what are some of the things that have been helpful for you? You know, every there's really no there's no right answer to you know a morning routine. It's, I think the biggest thing is just getting up you know before the sun comes up, get up early, and so you have that kind of quiet time in the morning to where you can really think and you can really just focus on the important things and uh, know exactly what you need to be doing that day. You're not only setting yourself up for success that day you're setting yourself up for success in the days that follow, in the weeks that follow, in the months, and the years, because there's an exponential result that you're gonna get from doing this consistently day in, day out. And really, if you look at it, the most successful people in this world, you know, the billionaires, the multimillionaires, they all have some sort of morning routine that they practice 
uh, almost religiously. You know, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Richard Branson, Warren Buffett, uh, all these guys. They, they, they focus, they get up early, they make sure that they're doing the things that, give, that feed them, you know, that give them energy, that give them power, that motivate them, you know. And there's lots of, you can look them up, there's lots of YouTube videos out there about the way these billionaires and these multi-millionaires, you know, what their morning routines are and what they do. But there's, there's just tons of different ways to do it. But I think the most important part of it is, is that they all get up relatively early and they all do things that feed them and give them energy and help them focus and you know get motivated and so that they can attack their day with passion with vigor with energy with drive and that's what it's all about guys it's having a purpose having a plan for your morning and then following through some of these billionaires their morning routines were simply just spending time spending more time with their family in the morning that's what gave them energy and passion for the day and others, you know, some people actually got up and they painted. Some people listened to music. Uh, I think it was Elon Musk that said he is a big part of his morning routine with his shower because that's when his best thoughts come to him is in the morning early when he can just be in the shower and have time to think. And so I found that very interesting because it's, it's just, it really kind of varies depending on the person and you've got to figure out what works for you. But the biggest part of it that I think is so important to kind of understand is that there's no wrong or right way to have a morning routine. You just need to get up early and have some time to yourself to kind of figure out what works for you and, you know, try different things. You know, sometimes get up and journal. Sometimes get up and look at your grateful list. Sometimes get up and write or meditate or pray or just, you know, just kind of test things, test things out. And I think over time you're gonna find the, the groove, sort of the thing that works for you the best, but just make sure you're getting up consistently, doing what you say you're gonna do. You know, get up at a certain time every day. You know, don't hit the snooze button. Get up, start practicing a morning routine of some sort, and just kind of let it develop over time. And I promise that you're gonna have an exponential positive result just from this practice. So unless you wanna be ineffective, tired, behind the curve and generally just not ready for your day, start practicing your morning routine today. Or should I say, in the morning. One of the first things I do when I get out of bed after I brush my teeth is get on my phone, get on YouTube, and put on some sort of inspirational, motivational video. And that really helps me get pumped up and then, you know, obviously go get my coffee. So some examples of things that have worked for me are, you know, obviously get up early, get a little exercise, Write down a few things that you're grateful for. I read out loud my morning affirmations, sort of chant your morning affirmations. You know, I pray every single morning and I try to meditate as well. And I just kind of think about how blessed we are to have another day, another day of life on planet Earth. I try to do a little bit of journaling. And then, like I said, I review my goals and go over what I need to do that day. So now you're ready to wake up early in the morning and win the day, slay your day. Like I said, I really would love to know you know, if you have a morning routine, uh, what your morning routine consists of, if you have any tips or, you know, pointers for anybody that might be out there that's kind of having a difficult time with their morning routine, I'd love to hear what you have to say. So, you know, put, post those comments below. All right, guys, I hope you found this tip helpful and this information valuable. And as usual, do the thing, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.